So over the week weekend, a video went viral showing Sheung Kuti um, seen pushing and slapping an officer of the law, policeman. People have condemned this act. Uh, however, according to his Instagram post, he said that <coughs> this policeman tried to kill him and he has proof, but he's not the type to chase clout. His actions have been condemned, um, even though, even now we heard that the Inspector General of Police have asked or called for his arrest. Um, we also got news that um, he's hired um, <coughs> lawyer Femi Falano, SAN, to um, defend him, and according to Femi Falano, He'll be um, reporting to the police this morning himself. So hopefully um, we can then see how the case will proceed afterwards. But the conversation is about <coughs> the video, which is not the full picture, because we all understand when we see a video, there are always five, six sides to every story. But based on what we could see, many have condemned the act. What are your thoughts on this? Because this is a rather... Um, this is somebody who has a voice. This is somebody who many Nigerians um, listen to. It's when, you, when you say a few Nigerians who are eloquent, who are charismatic, who have a perspective, who have a viewpoint, who are able to express their perspective to the world, is Sheung Kuti. He has a video he does once in a while where he goes live. And he, he is somebody who is quite knowledgeable about so many topics. You know, he has a lot of following because of his brilliance in, in, in eloquence. But when you see somebody like that, in this kind of act, you now begin to think, what happened? What is the full story? That's the conversation. What are your thoughts on the videos that have gone viral? You can call us on 081-270-53687-091-390-76948. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. All right, so I wanted us to compartmentalize this conversation. So we know Sheon Kuti, as I said before, He's one of those young youth leaders who um, has a following. He's, um, he's big on Africanness. You know, he's big on nationalism. And he has some people, Nigerians follow him. Mm. And he's, very, he's a known voice. Not just that, he's the son <laughs> of the Afrobeat legend. So people know Sion Kuti. Mm. Now, in this situation, this, um, this bout of anger that we saw on, on, on camera, people were now trying to go, what happened? What could have caused it? Many of us have actually had situations whereby somebody either hit us or aggravates us, and we find a way to control it. But in this video, what came across to you when you saw that video? How do you th what do you think happened? As I said, we don't have an official statement yet mm. from what transpired from the police angle. Mm -hmm. We don't have that yet because we tried several times to reach the police to give us an angle. Nobody said anything. Even Sheon Kuti hasn't said much more. He's phone has been switched off since yesterday. So... We don't have a perspective. All we know is what is in this video oh, and what she have posted earlier concerning the fact that this man tried to kill him. So we can now deduce different angles from this. But let me start with um, Tokwe. Go ahead, please. Ha. Okay, so every time I, I watch the video, I just sort of like, yeah. there's, a sh there's a shiver. And like, it's, it was very violent, you know. And we've always um, spoken on this show and we've always addressed issues that no matter what happens, we can never respond in violence for, with violence, even if we are being violated or somebody is getting violence to us, we shouldn't give back violence in any situation. And obviously, whether we, from what, whatever the story will be holistically, one thing is clear, um, Sheon Kuti exhibited um, violence towards a police officer wearing the uniform, and that is wrong. Um, I'd like to get the details of how we what cost it. I'd like to get information. I'd like to think that maybe there's something else, maybe probably something else was in his mind before that happened. Maybe he's reacting to whatever situation. But you know, when you, with the way you've established who Sheung is and the way we know who Sheung is, to whom much is given, much is expected. You've already placed yourself on a pedestal like this. You're a very knowledgeable person. There's someone we look up to where we're thinking we want to know what is right from what is wrong. We want you to help us to decipher a situation. You want you to give us clarity. We want you to lead the young people. We cannot afford to see you in this light. It is very, very bad. So um, I'm hoping that in the course of justice running its course, we get to hear the backstory. And yeah. we've seen a few celebrities fall our hand. And because they are human beings. Mm. They are human beings, so... 
things can happen. Funke Akedele had his her own drama. She said, and she continued doing her thing. There are many things that can happen. So we would like to see justice run its course. We would like to see yeah. people know that there can be right. repercussions for wrong action, and it doesn't demean the person from being able to continue speaking truth to power in right. some other instances. All but right. that, that's my opinion. Ram, let me come to you. What are your yeah. thoughts when you saw that video? Uh, of course, you know, first, first of um, you would, you know, you have described him, but another thing is we would, we also know that he is the brother to our very dearest Waike. And, you know, um, this is a family that we know and we love. And so to talk about this, when it happens almost so close to home, I know many people are watching and thinking, hmm, let's hear what they are going to say and how they are going to say it. And the truth is, from what I saw in that video, what happened put Sheonkuti in a very bad light. What he did, based on that video, was completely wrong. <clears throat> he shouldn't have attacked the police officer. It did not look right. I don't have any, I mean, based on that video, there's no justification, no rationalization for me. But um, also, you know, when these things happen, is that there's, um, I, I always say sometimes when this happens is that it allows for us to learn so many lessons. There are many lessons to learn from, from this. Um, that we're all human, we make mistakes, and that um, even, even when we do, we should be willing to acknowledge the mistakes that we have made and also, um, you know, allow justice to take its course. And if there's anything that we need to do to pay, you know, like punishment, we must serve it. Yeah. Um, it's a bad example also because of who he is and what he stands for and how he has used his voice, you know. And um, it is even much more um, important, do you understand? It's much more <coughs> important to see how this plays out mm -hmm. because of who he's, how he, you know, that he's such a big influence and, mm -hmm. a, and an influencer, you know. And if it does not go the right way, People will take it as this is the right behavior to exhibit towards our police officers, and it's not right. If you have a problem with a police officer, there is a way to handle it. You should not, this video looks so bad, you should not be seen, you know, attacking a police officer. And it looked even worse because the police officer didn't attack back. Hmm. You know, okay. so I don't know what happened before. Right. Did the, so in my mind, did the police officer take a gun, cock it at him and his family? And I can understand how that can be scary. But if that's not what happened and you're seen hitting a police officer, especially when the police officer isn't hitting you back, mm. honestly, until I hear what yeah. I, I can't right. rationalize or justify that behavior. Let me come to BC to get your, thoughts, your initial thoughts on this, um, on the video. Because even the commentator, the guy who was recording, recording was like, oh, he hit his car, he hit his car. Mm. And we're trying to figure out, okay, how bad was the impact of the hit? We're not, not even sure. That's what I was thinking. Maybe it was a hit on expressway, which can actually be dangerous. That could be life threatening for anybody. If somebody just hits me while I am on Third Mainland Bridge with my family, I could get really upset. But what are your thoughts, on BC, on this? So accidents can happen. When I saw the video, I was speculating probably there's a hit somewhere, and that happens to all of us. If you are driving in Lagos, you know that once in a while somebody will bash you. Once mm -hmm. in a while, you will bash somebody but we do not advise that you come out and you start assaulting the person that it has happened to you. You must find a way to have a conversation. Okay, who is fixing what car? How did you make this mistake? And you talk about it. And sometimes numbers are exchanged, mechanics are called, and these things are easily resolved, right? But what I saw in that video was a lot of anger. And I didn't think that that anger was just based on what happened. You know, there's a way we transfer aggression for mm. certain calibers of people. Exactly. Yes. So when so. something happens, you're not reacting because of what, what happened. happened. You're reacting 50 something years back, 20 something years back, 30 something years back. That was what I felt mm. from watching the video. And assaulting a policeman in uniform is something we speak against here. We yeah. say even when they come to arrest you, for something you've done, you have to obey, go to the police, get your lawyer, you know, do things the right way. We must, we want a new Nigeria, Absolutely. a Nigeria where everybody is under the rule of law and we must be seen to keep it. If you carry out any infractions along the police, uh, you know, on the roads, you must be seen to follow the rule of law. If you have to beg, you beg, you have to apologize, even if the police is on the wrong. And I walk right on the express every day. I see how reckless mm. these police people drive their vehicles. 
vehicles. Yeah. We already know them. So once they are doing one, 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 one close to you, I just tell my driver, please, be cool, slow down and allow them yeah. pass because I don't want wahala. But even if it happens, it's a message you are sending across that it's okay to harass these people. These people, irrespective of the person who has bashed you or whatever the person has tried to do to you, they, there's something they represent. There's something that uniform represents. Mm. And that uniform must be respected, especially knowing that you're someone that people are watching. People are looking up to you. You have fans everywhere. You must be seen to show restraint in public in certain ways. So I didn't like the fact that and I was asking myself when I was looking at the picture, I said, why did, this is unlike the typical police that we know. Yeah. Why is this man not responding? Why is yeah. this man not reacting? Right. Yeah. I've seen police on the way and things like this happen. And you just see everybody, you're raising gun and pointing yeah. and all of that. But this one was just very calm. And mm. I was wondering what could have happened to this level where this sort of assault has to be you know, done. But, see, but it is wrong. Right. We must speak against it. Right. And we expect that um, investigations mm -hmm. will further prove what happened. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I, I was telling somebody, uh, when we were talking about this in over the weekend, and um, I was telling somebody that when I got my new car, like, the car was less than two weeks old. When I was on that Okwebi roundabout, I was about merging into Twin Street. Some guys, young guys, just hit me from the back right. Hmm. I was livid. I parked the car because this car was just like two weeks old. <laughs> I came down, I said, Nigeria, you, look at you. And you know, I was going mad. <laughs> I was like, Nigeria, you, you cannot drive. Who gave you driver's license? I was so upset. <laughs> but as, as I was happy at them, nobody was like, ah, Auntie Mariah, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no. Like, yeah, I just you calmed down. You yourself. I remember like, Mariah, yeah, Auntie Mariah. <laughs> you, know, the, you guys in the car, there are five of them. They were all, nice. all young people. Say, Auntie Mariah, sorry. I was like, oh. Father in hell. <laughs> I can't even okay, express my okay, anger. Okay, I'll just I enter my car, Jen Jenny, just give me. You Wait, see, Nigeria, I can't, you. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'll just scream, Nigeria, you. Look at you, give me that. We the people. We the people. You know, but you see, that was the anger. Yeah. The reaction. Happened. Because yeah. I can understand if, 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 if Sean Kuti is saying you try to kill me, there's a possibility. Mm. Maybe the guy hit him. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. But even if he did, mm. the question is, they didn't did require that kind of reaction from him. Mm. And that's what I was saying. Well, what I even thought you were going to say earlier was the fact that I felt that the, the possibility that there was some, some kind of anger he had already in the car. You know yeah. what I mean? You and your husband are having a spark <laughs> over something. You're arguing. You are maybe... And, you are in and then you're upset. You're arguing in the car. And some clown now hits you. <laughs> you come to that aggression. You want to go and give... Mm -hmm. You got to yeah. so yeah. give your wife. So you, if you, you, so got, if, you, you explode on yeah. the other person. Yeah. So, so it's not if, so much about... If when he came down mm. and he saw the... Uh, American president mm. standing there, would he have reacted the way he reacted? Yeah. So it also shows a lack yeah. of respect for the uniform. Absolutely. We must say it as it is, yeah. right? But, but, and we need to educate ourselves better mm, on that. Better. Yes, I, and I know that, and I also want us to take away the emphasis on how he must have felt before this happened. Mm. 50, 20 years or a few minutes in his mm. car, what he did was wrong and i want you know nigerians to know that this is not how we should treat police officers right. this is not how we should handle issues with police officers in fact even amongst ourselves yeah no we violence. shouldn't get out of the car mm -hmm. and be slapping each other mm -hmm. and be hitting each other there was one time um my driver hit another car in front of me i told you it was your brother that saved the situation <laughs> the owner of the car came out like a dracula Dragon. Mm. I'd never seen that sort of. I know people come out and they're upset, but this guy was venting, panting, sweating. <laughs> I was, you know, I was in the, behind the car with my children holding them for our dear lives. <laughs> Luckily, he, uh, your brother is his friend. And when I was like, hi, he was like, oh, it's you. And then he said something to him, you're about the guy. I was like, oh my God. He just stopped. Aww. Like, all right, you can go. Oh, <laughs> like, you himself, know? Yeah. So we, because. You know, even if you don't know someone, but it could be a brother, a sister, a family, let's just think of each other that way. And then we can change, exchange numbers. And if it's, the damage is that bad, you know, we figure that out. And then if it's the police officer, at least with that, you can even go to the law, you know, and make it an issue. But mm. do not assault a let's police officer. Let's talk about the police officer for a second. Because um, since NSARS, you know, NSARS was a major turning point for Nigerians when it comes to how we uh, respond or react to police. The many Nigerian youths still don't like the Nigerian police. Many people don't even, they, don't, they can't even stand the police. Even the other day you told me that when the Nigerian police stopped you, you were actually already on the offensive. Defense, yeah. yeah, like, you I know what, I'm ready to, whatever you did, your defense was up. But when you now find out the guy was just really, really being polite to you, <laughs> and you were shocked. And then, so, so that, that's a good thing. So we understand there are reforms going on. 
We understand the police is trying to change. It will take years because it might not percolate across the nation, maybe certain spots. But this man in particular didn't respond. Yeah, that was, that I was shocked. Same because thing. in Nigerian police, we eh? push like that. Eh? You eh? push in Nigerian police. Cock, cock, gun. Cock, cock, So I didn't see a gun. You got pushed first. The guy went around. He slapped your face. And you are still there. Hey, Joe, this is the Nigerian police. So, um, well, the truth is, we've seen there are different Nigerian, there are a whole lot constituting Nigerian police. There are thousands of people, hundreds of, I don't know, hundreds. About 300,000, yeah. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of people. There will be some that would react in violence, and there will be some that will not. Mm. And you know the way when God wants to catch you, that's, this is what will happen. No? Mm. It, will, it will have been easy to defend if the moment they slapped, then they, they entered tear yeah, shirts kind of yeah. thing. But when, when life wants to teach you a lesson, mm -mm. it will make you get angry with someone who is calm. Yes. Just to show that now you, you are to supposed to learn this lesson. So I think this is a, is, is a teachable moment for Sheonkuti himself. And it's very humbling. I'm sure he would feel that way when he sees it and the backlash he's gotten. But I hope he learns the lesson. And, and the truth is, we all might have areas where we have our weaknesses. And we should learn. We move on. We're better for it right. at the end of the Let day. Let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our conversation. I take a few calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back.